Okay, so I thought I'd do a quick speed test between the older Raspberry Pi Model B Plus uh, from 2014 and the new 2019 Raspberry Pi Model 4 with 4 gig of RAM, uh, and it's remarkable the difference. Uh, so I'll switch to screen capture and I'll open the folder now. Three, two, one, go. So I'm going to do these tests in the same order. Uh, I've got uh, a photo and I was going to rotate that photo uh, and then close that down, uh, close down that file and then the next one I was going to use the Office app writer, it's a bit like Word and as soon as it will let me type I'll start typing, oh straight away and then I will make that nice and big There you go, close that down, don't save. Then the next one is uh, Games and Tetris. Tap straight away. I'm not going to make them fall any quicker. Again, as soon as that one lands, close that down, close down this, and then open up Chromium. And I'll do a search for BBC and also Hot UK Deals. So BBC, and let's do Google, and then click on BBC at home. And now there was a quicker way of doing that. Uh, and you can see that it opens up really quick. I'm going to use it on another tab. On the other one, I use single tabs. So I'm going to open Hot UK Deals. And as you can see, super fast. Uh, it really is very, very impressive. Um, so now I, I talked in, in my previous video about 2.4 amp power supplies, because it's recommended that you use a three amp power supply of the Raspberry Pi. Because I'm not plugging anything into mine, I mean, for this test, I've got a mouse and a USB stick, but ordinarily I wouldn't plug anything into it. I'd use a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard, Bluetooth controller, and I'd use a NAS drive for data. Um, so it's not taking very much power from it. And I read an article uh, that said under load, the Raspberry Pi Model 4 takes about, uh, I think it was 7.6 watts of power. And my power supply is 12 watts, uh, 2.4 amp, uh, 5 volt. Uh, USB power supply works at about 12 watts. So it's well within uh, the realms of what it needs. Uh, it's more if you're going to plug things in. Uh, I mean, I'm not saying don't buy a 3 amp one. That's what they recommend. So I would recommend that you do the same. But because I've already got a 2.4 amp and I've got a, uh, a decent USB-C cable, I felt I didn't need to buy anything extra. But uh, but you know, if you're going to plan to plug things in uh, and for the future, it probably is just best to have the, the recommended power supply. Uh, right, so that's my test. Um, I don't know if the other one's finished because I haven't done that test yet and it will be showing up in the top of the screen. Uh, I'll let the video play on if it hasn't finished so you can see it till the end of this test. But I hope you liked it. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.